What a fucking pile of garbage. Who? Fucked up, he gets to host anti this Anti-extreme time. That guy's well, kind of a jabroni. Speaking of anti-extreme, welcome to a Extremely Sideways. I'm Ty, and we got mm -hmm. the Smack Up crew. Ooh. I made I made them all come. I mean, come on, ECW is definitely a Smackdown I never, show. I never I never heard of Smack Up. This is ECW. I'm extreme. <laughs> I'm champion shipping. We are wrestling gang. Yeah, fair enough. Welcome. Yeah, yeah we the got. The show is my idea. I'm Nico's advocate, Pete Heyman. Pete Hayes. That's true. And uh and, and we got Nick over the here. Special enforcer, Big J Joey. Big Welcome. J Joey, but what about little J J? Why am I little J? What the fuck? Because we got Big J. Big, Somebody already took Big J. Big J, 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 J. Yeah. You didn't claim it. Nah. No 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 no. Jay's always been here. I'm just good old Jay, just like ECW. Since the so you just wanted ECW to keep, for right, life, that's, baby. That's just J. Oh, just that's J. just just J. Oh, okay. Just J. Yep. Fair enough. Yeah, since uh, since the start of the show, we've been waiting. We've been holding Jay in captive and said, Jay, you're not allowed to be on the show unless you're extreme. And she said, ah, help. And I said, she, that's funny. She was locked up in Paul Hammond's yeah. backyard as, basement watching as a matter of fact, tapes. As we're commentating on the main event, I will be skydiving out of a plane. Oh, really? Uh, till the end of the show. Yes, as a matter of fact, I got my parachute ready. And the plane has just enough gas, one would hope. But we'll see how it goes. That's just Jay. Wait a minute. Where's that's Nico just, at? That's, just, that's as extreme what as we can mean? be. Oh, there he is. Hey, Nico. Hey. What's up, dog? Don't don't talk to my, my client. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, speaking of clients, talk to me. let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the par bodies hit the... We got a double opening this episode. The Uh -oh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Um, where the fuck was any of the ECW originals that we love? What do you mean? What are you talking uh, well, about? There was Paul we Heyman. Had a, we had a stacked well, roster. Some some Paul, guy Paul on Raw Down. We had Rob Van Dam. Some guy Rob on Raw Van Down Van said Van uh, they we, love Tommy Dreamer show. and Terry Funk. You know they didn't show up. Shout out Dory Funk. Does this mean about? does this mean Mick Foley was right that Terry Funk only shows up for the big paycheck, bro? Yes. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Wait. What? What are we talking about here? The W E Sug. Right, Paul let's Heyman start, enters. Let's start in order before you get us all out of way. What here, I was buddy. yelling about is that I got yelled at. No one cares. No, nobody no, 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 cares. No, 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 this no, no, is no, no, extreme. All right, nobody all right, cares, him, and this is extreme. Let him do his bit. We'll see what he has. What I'm saying is, for an ECW guy, he didn't show up to ECW number one. Tommy Dreamer, you can frick off, pal. You're not extreme. That's all yeah, I gotta say. Tommy clip Dreamer. Show. He was in the clip show. You, you only got 40 you minutes. You hack Tommy Dreamer the poser. You weren't there June 13th, 2006. That's Look, right. This is, this is for the... You gotta. We have to establish the hot, young, young new talent. Like, like, like Paul Zombie. Show. No, we have Paul Heyman. Hold on. We got to start like, off with like, the Raw promo here. Like Zombie and, and <laughs> Just incredible. incredible. Yeah, we love Just and, Incredible. And I mean, Bone Chill, Steven, Texas. Yeah, we'll All get there. the stars are here tonight, except Tommy Dreamer, you hack. So Paul Paul Heyman's here. He's coming out the brick shit house that's off to the corner, that, like mm. like we didn't know from the head to head. Yep. They're trying to they're trying to hide it from us. And Paul right. Heyman's here. He's so excited to introduce. His boy, Rob, Van, Dam, and RVD comes out and he, with the WWE Championship. Congratulations. We got ECW with the world title. But yeah, hell yeah, dude. That's what it's all about. Big old spinner belt. The crowd really did not care, did they? It looks really good yeah, on them. Dude, it, no. The and this is, Rob Van Dam is one of the few guys that the spinner belt looks like it belongs on him. Mm -hmm. yeah. It did look really good for him, so too. what happens when you yeah. smoke a lot of weed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the spinner but, you know, belt looks good on you. Here's my issue with it, um, with the crowd. Not only do they seem like they're super dead, like they've been there all night, because they kind of have. They have. <laughs> but, it, it, but here we are, right? Not only do we not have Tommy Dreamer, but we also are not in Philly. We're over in, like, New Jersey. We're in just, like, a SmackDown crowd, you these, know? These people it, came it, to go it, see SmackDown, not ECW. <laughs> right, right. They came for SmackDown, not... and they stayed for the extreme. Let's be real. Oh, yeah, boy. you're right. Did they get the real ticket fans. price for this? You know, it was so good. Yeah, two, a two for, come on. Oh, yeah, goodness. they got three hours of uh, sports entertainment. So I, I don't know how much uh, 
uh, entertainment per dollar value that is on a breakdown or if that if the inflation has just blown out the sports entertainment return value on that uh sources telling me uh that this crowd got absolutely uh ruined on their return yeah i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna fly through this raw segment because this raw segment was uh whatever so you know paul is excited to bring out rvd the new champ of wwe what do you, what do you mean what rvd do you mean says segment? This is a raw segment, dude. So he no, thanks he no, thanks the crowd. Is, this isn't his ECW segment. He's don't, so excited. Don't play that game. He's so excited to be yeah, the WWE don't champion. Take the extreme you know what? I'm taking an extreme angle. I'm speeding up your expedited. You're speeding it up. Thing. He's yeah, going dude. extreme with it, folks. He got the ECW Paul title. Hill. He's the ECW Paul champion. Here. Provide. Well, here, hold Rob on. Van Dam. Yeah, let's talk about this. The ECW title, right? Uh huh. How we're talking about it, how it looks so good. Like the WWE championship looks so good on him. That that ECW belt just just does not look good. It's and you know easy. what? Because it literally, Rob so- Van Dam has the WWE Championship. It's got heft. It's uh, actually mm-hmm. made out of uh, <laughs> material. Yeah. Uh, and then he tries to put this like already like strapped and buttoned together title on his shoulder, and it is it's, like a child's it's toy. It's falling off. It's so small. It, it is incredibly thin. It is like yeah. you can fucking see th- like through it when Rob. Uh, has uh, his shoulder facing the camera, yep. and just the two sizes together. Like one of these is like a championship, and then the other one is something a guy made in his garage because he likes to do yeah. that. But that, just to rushed. be fair, that, that's the that's what we want. That's what ECW brings us: a guy who made something in his garage. That's fair. Fair, that... fair enough. But you also have to think about the fact, like, like um, not even how the belt looks. It's just the fact of the unveiling, right? Like, we can use, like, recent years with the World Heavyweight title and the tag belts and everything and shit. But I, I feel like the only worse uh, unveiling I can think of for a belt would probably be when, like, um, Vince McMahon dressed as Santa Claus announced that they were going to bring tag belts. And even when they showed off the tag belts, they looked a lot better than the way how, like, Paul Heyman just unceremoniously just passes over this belt and even Rob Van Dam's like, I, I don't really want this belt. <laughs> what what does what did he do to deserve this? What did he do to deserve let's just, this? Let's just be real for a moment for... about this. ECW is here for a good time, not a long time, am I right, folks? Yeah, you're right. Okay. Hey, amen, brother. That's right. Hey, amen. They know that this has a this this has a, a half life of like a year. They know that this isn't gonna make the distance. They're just here to cash in on it. Throw that fucking paper mache belt on a guy. Let's let it rock. That belt is gonna be on a person is is going to be almost given to a person who could, commits a double murder murder suicide in like a year. Huh? Hey, you know what? That's the works. Uh, but wait, hold ECW up. ECW is a ramshackled show, uh, taped together by duct tape and what other garbage, uh, that was in the same garage that the title was made of. Yeah. But I like the hard cam because they're trying very hard. To, not uh, to the avoid the, the SmackDown stage. Yep. Uh, so the hard cam is actually from the ramp facing uh, the side. And you can see Taz and Joey Styles, the commentators, like behind every hard Gives cam the show shot. a very unique look. And just like a very entertaining side shot, Lita and her boyfriend from Raw well, hold on. come out. Hold on. Ron Van Dam oh, had, yeah, to, yeah, had yeah. to say it spins. And he got really excited and the crowd kind of popped for it. He had to spin the belt, dude. I've never I've, <laughs> nobody spun dude the belt was this so whole year. About that, it's been yeah. We yeah. have to, we do have to remember that fact. Like the only reason why he's like, I don't want this piece of shit. That he wants the spinny gotten, belt because like, he likes shiny belt. things. I like the fidget spinner, bro. <laughs> yeah. We we are we are two for two on Rob Van Dam being on shows where he has spun the belt. He spun it when he won it at one night stand. Uh, he looked drunk and dazed because he took fifty. Uh, <laughs> fucking heel kicks from john cena throwing them out of his bag uh he was like getting lifted up by big show and like very like groggily trying to spin the belt while holding it up on his shoulders uh and then tonight we also got him like playing with it he's like oh yeah this is the cool one he was playing with his mcdonald's toy and then paul Heyman gave him a burger king toy yeah the, the good old days of like the SmackDown versus Raw games when you're coming out with the spinny belt and then you just hold the button and the belt just spins forever, like really fast. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so good. 
But yeah, tell me about uh, Lita and her massive, uh, you know, edging Whoa, moment. Hold up. Hold, hold what, up. what, dude? Hold up. Advocate would like to speak. Silence. Oh, I mean, sorry, sorry, my I'm client. Sorry, my I'm client. sorry. I'm sorry. I appreciate this advocate. Uh, here's my problem. This ain't going fast enough. I thought this was extreme. Okay, yeah, you're I right. I was told this is extreme wrestling. We you're go right. fast. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Joe, finish this off. Joe, finish this off. Finish him. Ah, uh, dude, he's mu- he's he's muted, dude. Nico, uh, I'm gonna have to have you finish it off. Or so it was anyway, an edge and lead edge. a moment. He had me fucked yeah. up. You there. had me edging, welcome dude. To ex- welcome to extremely <laughs> sideways. <laughs> Anything can happen. Extreme. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> so Edge and Lita are coming out, right? <laughs> and Edge is like, I'm the number one contender for that title, and I'm like, yes, ECW alum Edge. This is perfect for he, for spending like the first like ten fifteen minutes of the show. He's the ch- he's number one contender, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. so he comes out and he starts spouting and attacking, um, going against Rob Van Dam, and then can someone else back me up here, please? Well, he's just here to say that guess what? We're gonna tear it down at Vengeance because I'm cashing in my number one contendership on your WWE Championship, pal. Yeah. Which, yeah. again, this is not about ECW. And then they're like, you know what? I think I respect you a lot. And they shake hands. And RVD's like, uh, this is so nice. Dude. And then he gets speared. And the belt just, <laughs> like, he got Sonic clip. Just fucking the rings start flying everywhere. Ah! RVD's like, ooh, uh, my stomach. Right. Paul Heyman starts shaking his fist. And Edge is just laughing in the crowd. He, he, he. Yep. And then John and Cena then, appears oh behind God. him, dude. Bro. He fisted the North Star behind him. It was crazy. (laughs) The crowd actually was so excited for this because they came for SmackDown and they got like the big stars of Raw in like a hot feud fighting each other and they did not care about Rob dying in the ring. Look, in this instance, I'm okay okay with guys from other shows showing up because they're uh, John Cena and Edge and Lita. I'm cool with that. We got to be extreme here. Anything can happen. But you would uh, think yeah. the crowd would lose their minds a little fucking bit more, you know? Yeah, well, of, well, Cena doesn't care. Fired. Well, Cena doesn't care about the belt. He just hates Edge. He hates the Edge. Yeah, that's right. And, and that's uh, right. you know, we go to commercial. We come back, and Paul is mad. And he says, you know what? If Raw wants to play it like this, we will take it to them. And all the guys go, yeah! Yeah, we're going to invade Raw. He goes, but wait. I'm going to have a battle royal later. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. And guess what? We're going to take John Cena to hell at Vengeance. So whoever wins this battle royale. One one small problem here for you. Wait, was that before? It might have been later, but this is extreme. We go double promos. Uh, Yeah, yeah, anti extreme Ty was talking a lot of shit earlier. I'm double promoing. in, in, In the background of this moment. This is one Tommy Dreamer there in attendance. Was he the there? Rara speech. He yeah. was. He was there. And you, you talked a lot of shit about Tommy Dreamer not being there. He should have been in the extreme battle royale. I want you to I want you to provide a formal apology to Tommy Dreamer right now. Listen, Tommy, I apologize for being wrong about you not showing up, but you still didn't compete. And so I take Which it as a half apology. I don't know. Maybe he did compete. We'll have to see. Yeah, we'll see. Because we'll we can't take Ty at his wording. Yeah, it's anti-extreme. Dude, you're 100% He's got an agenda right. to push on us. Uh, yeah, Pete. Wait, here he comes now. It's Tommy Dreamer. Oh, my He's God. Got Who is that? <laughs> oh, no, it's the zombie. It's the zombie, dude. <laughs> guys, we got the up. fucking zombie here, guys. The yeah, crowd is, is this... stunned. <laughs> Stunlocked, really. <laughs> they didn't know I mean, what the... why, Wouldn't you be, right? You be... And you just watched a whole show of SmackDown, and now a zombie is approaching the ring. There's a child. There are children in the crowd horrified. As, a, as I've been known as promo tie, I will cut the zombie promo for y'all. <laughs> that's that, and that's it. And that, and he just uh, gets interrupted by the Sandman's music. Oh, yeah, Tyler, I can, just want to say, I be... what I do. <laughs> Please do. Yes. Let me take over. I got this. So, this is technically the real ECW opening because the rest was like raw jams. 
Like you could say RVD is easy to. Uh, We're starting off so hot right now for we ECW are... only because right yeah. now we got a dude who can't wrestle going into the ring to kill a zombie. Yes, exactly. this is just like an episode of The Walking Dead. <laughs> and let me tell you, I don't know who's a bigger zombie, fucking the zombie or fucking Sandman. Sandman looks so decrepit. He does. Yeah, he no. looks so bad. No, no, he was he was playing all the hits here. I gotta say, he, he was he, locked in. He he came out he came out from the second story uh, bowl. Uh, he hit the beer on his head and then he made himself bleed. He hit the beer on his head and everybody go crazy. He drank yeah. another beer and then hit that on his head and then he got into the ring and started beating oh, up the oh, zombie. Oh. It's my match. I got it's you. his <laughs> match, Joe. Come on. Yeah, my my advocate. My my. <laughs> my what the fuck is the word, dude? No, I let the advocate. My client would like to go. speak, bro. Chill. Whoa. whoa. So, I've just been petrified. He, <laughs> so, Sandman gets in the ring, and the first thing he does is hit a gross-ass chair shot to the zombie's head. Killed him. And I know, like, he's, like, you know, and dead and dusted everywhere. Him. Yeah. yeah, dusted his ass. He then gets on his knees. He basically beats the shit out of him for, like, a good, I don't know, 15 seconds. He then picks him up, and I screamed when... I just saw him do a Russian leg scree- sweep, and he got the pin. Yeah. That's Russian his leg. finisher? Did Russian he, leg sweep. Did he, did he, he have the... He uh, he did it. He did it. There's a lot of weird with, uh, finishers. He did it with the kendo stick. Going on throughout yeah. this whole show. He did, but it, it still sucked. <laughs> I mean, he did also just destroy... I mean, this is a zombie. Like, the zombie has no juice. We gotta, re- we gotta be real here. This zombie does not have any competitive ability. This... For all intents and purposes, this is a dead man. <laughs> this, this is absolutely true. Hello. But... Hello. I would also oh like to note this is the second time Sandman has assaulted a disabled person in the center of a wrestling ring. True. Listen, true. Nico, that is his signature move, the white Russian leg it. sweep. Mm-hmm. Just want to let you know I... that. I, I know. Like sweep is good. It's not even a good one. No, but but it's he did bad. he did hit that with some extra stank on it, and it did maybe go holy shit because that the z- zombie <laughs> did explode into a giant cloud of dust, it was, and it looked I, awesome. Yeah, that the was dust good. was a crazy touch. Yeah, and you know, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. This is a uh, sci-fi thing, right? Yes, because they are being out on the sci-fi channel. This mm-hmm. was like one of the stipulations. This is like, and we'll see. We'll see the zombie next week when when he gets a full gimmick, just like the boogeyman did, just like Gunner Scott did. That would be awesome. Yeah. The the only difference is that like the zombie was like an actual like wrestler, whereas yeah. like boogeyman was just some fucking guy who just who just ended up. We with love wrestling. the boogeyman here. Come on. If if we want to complete the circle, I'm not saying of I the hate the boogeyman. And boogeyman. I believe that the zombie can start smoking meth if he wants to. If this yeah, so right. this match is so infamous for being like the way it was, but if this was in the middle of the show instead of like the first match, Maybe I think not. it would have been a little more impactful because the Sandman, as shitty as he looked, he looked really good hitting that move, and just like I don't know, the match just felt the interesting. Dust was the tight. dust effect it was, was really cool. cool. I, I feel was, stupid. It was really nice. I feel stupid but, but, for well, saying well, I liked the it. thing, right? But, well, here's the thing. He can make it work kind of like in the same way where you can have like Steve Austin make it work. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even when he's just going in there to, to play the hits, you know, he can he can do them pretty fine enough, especially around, you know, the time when he was like earlier on not doing much of anything, you know, and it's not like that Sandman had stopped doing stuff. He was just at like uh, one night stand, wasn't he? Yeah. Uh, he was, he was, you he know, was so, competing. Who did he right. Fight? So it's not like so he it's not like he doesn't have body. anything in him, but like this was like oh. what two, three minutes, and it, it's just it's just Sandman beating the the piss out of the sky. Oh, Pete, this he match did not actually closer to two or three seconds. He did not compete at oh, yeah. one night stand. He beat up Eugene. <laughs> yeah, <but laughs> I forgot. Oh, that was I a forgot. form of competing. I guess <laughs> it wasn't a match. It was a form of competing. He he did ruin Eugene after yeah. Eugene read his heartfelt poem. Anyway, Sandman's bleeding because he smashed his head while drinking the beer on the way. I don't know why you would do that with all that sand. And now we cut backstage, and Nico, who no, is no, here? No, no, hold on. Huh? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Sandman is chasing the zombie out of the arena oh, yeah, yeah. still with, with, with the kendo <laughs> stick. It's, the fight yes. is ongoing. Yeah. yeah. I have just because the bell rang. 
Sandman wanted to kill this zombie, and for all intents and purposes, <laughs> we can assume he did. Sandman actually believed there was a real zombie. Sandman oh, has, a, a, has a holy weapon equipped on him. He is a he is a child of the sun. Nobody told the this. Sandman that this was a this was a work. <laughs> this was a shoot zombie in Sandman's drunk mind. <laughs> He's just so fucking dazed. Yeah. Smashing that fucking shit on his head. He's concussed and drunk, and he's he thinks this is a real zombie. <laughs> he's now, gotta protect all the ECW fans. Yeah. Sandman Nico. is like Blade for yes. ECW. Tell me now about need... yeah. Tell me yeah. about uh, the woman of the night. Oh, okay. uh, exhibitionist. Yeah, our oh, exhibitionist. God. Our don't make him do this. We don't need to do this. Good. The prize fighter before Kevin Owens even <laughs> touched the uh, streets. Yep. It is. ECW's number one girl, Kelly. Just Kelly. Just Kelly. Right now. Yep. One only Kelly. And she wants us to know she's an exhibitionist. She's a fighter. And she is going to take it all off. Oh. Today. Okay. Cool. She. I like that she clarifies that for us. Because, like, you know, me, me being an ECW fan, I'm pretty brain dead. I got nothing going on upstairs. I'm glad she's explaining the big words for us. Mm -hmm. Mind uh, you, yeah, you know, right. earlier in the show, they do cut to the crowd multiple times, and there are just children in the crowd, so, like, yeah, get ready. You know. It's all sex. It, 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 Some it is... sexual awakenings are happening tonight. Yeah. For young boys, Tell it me is about quite it. manly <laughs> to see, for you, have your dad take you to a wrestling show and see a woman take her clothes off. But, yeah, I feel like at some point they had to have made it clear, too, that the show was going to be a little more mature if they stayed. Well, right? look like at the name. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't think they did. Jay, I'm going to need you to look at the name of the show, I... please. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I, I will say, we are still in TV 14 era, so technically... Well, this was also they... airing on sci-fi at, right. like, 11 o'clock. Well, the yeah. people people in the arena, they probably the bare minimum they would have done is uh, whatever the terms and conditions are on the back of the ticket and the fine print yeah. would also they apply did. to ECW because this yep. is all one ginormous production under one company. Yeah. I get you. So they just covered it from a, from a pure legal standpoint. They probably had no have, notification and can just that there was going to be titties. Yeah, they did, they did a catch-all, basically. So we are now over halfway through the program. Somehow, yep. and, uh, and we're about to have our first real match. Just kidding. We have to watch the entire match of J Taz versus Jerry Lawler from Sunday. They decided <laughs> that we have to watch that again. You mean the whole two minutes of it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing. We watched the entire match again, and so and, and then Taz is laughing. He's going ha 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 ha, and then we get Kurt Angle, baby. I'm the, not juiced, dude. The crowd didn't care about Kurt Angle. For ECW, too, he has the mouth guard, he has the shirt. It never appeared before anything for ECW, but he is just hardcore into the program. He's ECW apparently. through and through. All right, yeah, just incredible and Kurt Angle fight. Oh, yeah, that, just that's incredible does not win. What? Why not? <laughs> In any way, shape, or form. You can hardly this call out a fight. He got, he got thrown around just a few sure. Germans. Just incredible is like, hey, man, what the heck? And then Kurt Angle headbutts him and, and then wraps him around, gives him a rear naked choke, locks the legs on Justin Credible's penis, yep. taps out. When does he Kurt ever Angle use that no move? Chance. When has he ever done now. anything like that? <laughs> right it's now. A, oh, why? It's only now. legal in ECW. Yeah. Yeah, Jay was they're telling me earlier to, this was illegal. <laughs> illegal move. They're trying to establish that this is the most extreme form of Kurt Angle. But it's not even the most extreme form of Kurt Angle is the thing. I think the funniest part is the match when he uh, he got him into a wrestling hold and just like threw him on the ground and just started slapping his bald head. Yeah, and I, I was mean, like, come he on. Did, he takes his back for like five straight minutes and just starts fucking pounding on his head. What the fuck? Why do you do it like that, man? <laughs> come on. Just incredible. Didn't just. I think he got it worse than the zombie. <laughs> just embarrassed. Yeah, I mean, at least. This is this is some bald man on bald man violence. That's a that's a former ECW champion just getting dusted. Kurt, and Kurt Angle faster. is graciously and meatily bald. Justin yeah. Carbo looks like a dork. Fair enough. Yeah, you're, I'll you're say right. it. Yeah. Well, we already threw two matches of three. This is how yep. fast we're going tonight. We got Kurt on the mic, and he says, "Orton, yeah, Orton, I'm gonna make you tap at vengeance." And then he hits the. Uh, 
So true. And I why, believe it. Why is he fighting at the raw paper? It's beautiful. <laughs> against Orin again. <laughs> what happened? Why does he hate Orin so much? This is He's a death a feud, dude. Bitch. This is this Orin is a punk bitch. That's going why. back yeah. to SmackDown, this is a blood feud, dude. <laughs> no, you, no, no, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta dissect this one. They're not gonna tell you this one out loud. You gotta be a. a a, a real one. A you gotta be deep watcher. in the cut. Yeah. Kurt Angle is an American hero, Olympic gold medalist. He put on for his country. Uh, Randy Orton uh, it was uh, dishonorably discharged. Oh, fair enough. That's why Kurt Angle's like you. Yeah. You are basically a terrorist. I must destroy you. Yeah. Dishonorably <laughs> discharged versus Olympic warrior. Yeah, that's all it's about, honestly. And now we got and that's extreme, dude. I, what happened between the beginning of the show to now? Because Paul Heyman's now like full on into the microphone. He does tell us about the battle royal that I mentioned earlier, but he's so yeah, orange. He re-explains the battle royal for the second time. But this is extreme, guys. This yeah. is the first time there's ever been extreme battle royal. Mm-hmm. Not the mm-hmm. battle royal from head to head a week ago. This is extreme. They don't make them like this anymore. It's true. Yeah, so uh, guess who else is here? Bent over. It's Kelly. Nico, tell me about. <laughs> Is it Kelly? Kelly, I thought it was Paul it was... Heyman next. Well, we did. No, we just did wow, we just talked about Paul Heyman. We're I know you're kill th- you. Hey, hold on. That's my that's my client. Show everybody. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, just Kelly comes out, and you know, she starts to do a little well, dance. She, well, hold she on. She's bending over. Vignette first. And she, oh right. She's, she's 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 popping ass backstage. And saying that she's going to make a big impression on the world. And she's going to show all of her assets it. while her ass yep. is uh, somewhat hanging out. And she's yep. just, they just told her, they're that like, skirt, stand right skirt there. is fucking dying, bro. Stand right there. Do not move. And she did not move a little bit. And they kind of like did the WWE thing where they held on it after the promo ended. And she's just yeah. smiling. Like, what is this? If this was current yeah, day, that'd be is, AI, dude. There's no this way. This is all really, this is all really dark. With modern knowledge. Honestly. Yes. Yeah, it's fucked up, dude. Yeah. And she's 19. She's yeah. 19. She signed when she was 18. Vince was uh, a right. disgusting You're giving dude. giving me too goes... much information. I don't want to keep talking about this. And this We're goes move longer you love, than, you love like, Kelly, dude. Both the other matches. That's the We're other gonna... thing that I just hate so this much about This is a main this. segment. Like, I'm not going to talk about like, gotta, we gotta, the fact we gotta, that it takes the time. We got to pick this up. My client, Nico, will tell us more about the show at hand. All right, Nico, well, tell, me, tell me what Kelly does and tell us what Kelly does. But in a in a very light manner, and not anything that would make me think about Vince McMahon and his crimes. Okay, uh, so she kind of prods up the stale lightly. She kind of does a little thrusts left to right. Mm-hmm. She turns mm-hmm. around, mm-hmm. and then she uh, decides to. It is hot in the room, and decides to you know take off her skirt just to get more comfortable. And then she pretends to rub uh, sunscreen on her leg, right? Because, you know, again, you don't want the sun to burn your legs. True. The lights are very yeah. bright. The, the, the entire dude. time, is. Taz is saying, this is not like Raw. We do not yeah. talk about women sexually, as he's just moaning on the mic. Oh, yeah. yeah that <laughs> he was <laughs> completely silent for the duration of this No, he was moaning, uh, performance. dude. Yeah. Anyways, to, again, to avoid the legal consequences, she points up because she's like, "It's these lights are really hot. And, you know, she takes her shirts off. Consensually, of course. You know, she is a legal adult. I, I want to preface this. My lawyers have told me she is 19 at the time. My advocate has made sure he's fact-checked this for me. We have and fact-checked it. So, remember, it it's only creepy... If you're 60 plus doing this, it's true, and, right? Mm-hmm. But everybody else, it's still okay. She then turns around because you know she's got to show the crowd, man, it's really hot. She drops a quarter and bends over to you know pick it up. She goes a little left, a little right. She kind of gets the chicken wings behind her head. She does the Roman Wayne's one <laughs> hand, and then. Whoa. Right, why are we I giving this she... so much more detail than the matches? Because <laughs> this... Nico is our <laughs> resident long... woman guy. Come on. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. And, and uh, 
the crowd is is absolutely flabbergasted every time they they would <laughs> cut the commentary. You just see you see bald men all in the crowd, some of the most decrepit looking beings you've ever seen, covering their mouths, <laughs> looking yeah. absolutely flabbergasted. Their jaws are dropping like Looney Tunes characters. There I is I was kidding. There is, if I might interject, there's a guy sitting behind Joey Styles and Taz who brought a Taz action figure. Uh and then when they are finished with the Kelly Kelly uh segment, I guess we could call it. Uh, the, the same guy then like pats his mouth, like pretends he's yawning, and then rests his head on the guardrail as if he's going to sleep. Uh, Cook, random guy from New Jersey. Dude, I don't even think the crowd was <laughs> That's into a cowardly it. take. I gotta say, that was hey, a cowardly take. Well, Nico, finish this not. off, pal. Yeah, because well, of course they're not into it. I mean, they're watching a girl. She gets like an itch on her back, so she starts messing <laughs> with like you know a bra strap. And then an accident occurs where she accidentally lifts up her bras. She shows the crowd. She's smiling. You know, like, oops, I'm such a klutz, lol. And she just kind of. She just kind of keeps that position for a while and then she steps yeah. down. And. That's as far as we can go. That's yeah. As far as the network will let us. That, take I feel it. like that's yeah. farther than we needed to. Yeah. Uh, don't worry, it's gonna be a lot worse on SmackDown. If I'm, if I have anything to say, like, I think the worst part about the whole segment is just how uncomfortable Kelly is in this role. She's not Candace Michelle, who has that like confidence in herself to just do this shit. She looks scared, and the crowd also mm-hmm. is not into it. So she's also not getting any more comfortable. I think everybody's scared, honestly. Yeah, I don't every- think it's just her that's scared. I think yeah, everybody's yeah. scared of what's the happening The commentary right has now. no idea what to say. The The crowd has no idea what to do in this moment because there's no, like, it's not like Vince being a creep backstage so they're not gasping going, oh, Vince is disgusting. Or yeah. it's not Candace going, I'm going to I'm gonna play with my beads for you, ZZ Top. And they just like, you're just yep. like, that's weird, dog. But she she's in that role. Kelly's just like, Here's my tits, and everyone just goes, uh, Aluga. I, I no, don't know about this, man. Aluga Were they? Too. Were they? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There was, there was some shock in the crowd. There was some, some awe in the crowd. I, it was yeah. the most uncomfortable segment of the year, and considering all the Candace Michelle segments and like Ashley uh, promos no. and shit, stamp that. <laughs> no, this is gonna be a agree. weekly occurrence too, by the way. If you're Goodness not aware. gracious, this Hold is on. gonna be on every episode. I this hate happens. it. Advocate, you gotta help me on this one. This is yep. not the most uncomfortable segment. I, I think you're forgetting about half of the early Raw episodes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that I was think, so I think much Dog Pussy eats this up, I gotta say, still. Yeah. yeah. That's iconic. That was too out of pocket. That's yeah, iconic, this was... though. <laughs> it... Is it? <laughs> yeah, him, go, it? him, him <laughs> pogging for it? Yeah. Absolutely. It, it, it is, on, uh, it is on this It is on this pod. I'll say that at least. It's iconic here, but I just mean in general. <laughs> you know, no. I'm saying like, come on. I feel like if you bring up, oh, remember Dog Pussy? Everyone's just gonna. Yeah, look oh, they're like, gonna be like Royal Rumble, yeah. <laughs> no, they. No. no. Nobody remembers this second. No, game. everybody remember when the boob come out, you go crazy. Nobody remembers. When the boob come out, pussy. you go crazy. Yeah. When the dog pussy come out, you go. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, like nobody remembers that. It 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 it. it that was one of those. It's bad because. It's just bad, and everybody let it die. Yep. This is going to happen every week. Get used to it. Are you ready, Jay? Are you ready to go extreme? No, hold on real quick. Oh, I'm ready to go extreme. Oh, yeah. We skipped over a bit with a vampire in front of a theater. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Oh, yeah. I love Morbius. I love Morbius. Morbius. That was a a cool shot, I'm not going to lie. And and Taz was just like, what the heck? Anyway, here's Kelly. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that huh? was literally it and then and then as soon as the kelly bit is over it's taz and joey styles again and the the rumble starts and you know who comes out first time who tommy dreamer you dumb fuck what you fucking idiot oh you my ate. god he's in the match not twist tyler oh my god uh, I, right. I messed Nico, up man speed bag this guy's nuts nico hit well, me dude what? Hit me, dude. Tommy's yeah, in the match. The show That's right, dude. Dude. Oh, my God. Dude, I, I'm so done with this guy. I'm so sick of this dreamer. I want a 1v1 oh, him right now. He would. I want an extreme rules match with him right now. I'm telling you. Dude, 
Just DM him on Twitter. I will apologize for my 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 rant earlier, Tommy. But you're not getting away with this longer. I'm coming for you, dog. We're fighting. <laughs> I want a sanctioned match. It's getting oh. dangerous. And I think I know the perfect you heard it, Tom. In this match. Who else is in this match? Saboob. Yes, yeah, Saboob is in this match. Pete, tell me about uh, this 10-man, all-weapons legal, extreme battle royal with 11 people. No in loads it. refused. No, 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 yeah. no, no. Tell me about tell me about this ten man, extreme battle royal with eleven people in it, please. Yeah, ten man, eleven people. Because we we don't do math at ECW is the thing. True. We got L Snow coming out. Oh God. <laughs> does his done. head does his head count as false participation? It could. Number? All it right. could. I'm choosing to believe it does. He's he's a large fella. And then we got was was it Stevie Richards coming? Stevie in? Richards, <laughs> yes. Stevie Stevie here. Richards. And then we've got uh we got FBI coming to the ring. Yeah, you got little Guido, uh Tony mm-hmm. Mamaluke and Big Guido. Big Guido for some reason. I didn't expect him to be in the match. He just kind of was in there. And, and who's who's the gal with him? Trinity. Trinity? All right. Yeah. That was crazy fit. That was even more insane than Lita. Yeah, she's yeah. coming out looking insane here. I don't know what else to say about it. I'm not going to say anything about it honestly. Good for her, she looks confident. Uh, She's unlike slaying it, right? Jeff She's Kelly. slaying the house down. She's serving face. Are yeah. we ready for another 10-minute segment? Yeah, I think so. You go ahead and let her rip. All right, let's we talk didn't... about this outfit. <laughs> Oops, Danny Doring just got eliminated. <laughs> Danny Doring and Roadkiller here. <laughs> yes. and... Ball, Balls Mahoney is also here. <laughs> Balls Mahoney? And who else? We got? Oh, Did we get Little Guido? No, we talked about the Roadkill. We talked, yeah. we talked about show. that. Come it's on. The big show as well. Oh, my God. There's so many people. Boy. Sabu is hell here as well. Well, yeah. the match and is our, about now, to start. Now we got to talk about the outfit. Tell us about Trinity's outfit. Ah, yes, Trinity's outfit. Well, let's start with that satin black look. I think it's a special. <laughs> no, Somebody cut this man off. Somebody cut him off, <laughs> please. No, no let, let my client speak. Well, I was going to cut it, but now I got to do it. Got this satin black. No. <laughs> no. Let my client speak. No, I will not speak. <laughs> let my client speak. We got the. One long, the one little strap exposing everything, and the yep. good covering like a leotard. Wait a minute, that's not we're minutes. Trinity. We're 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 like yeah, we're second milliseconds away from disaster in this yeah. fit. That's the big show. You know what? <laughs> you know what, dude? <laughs> Hear me out. Yeah, I'm since, thinking we're extreme. Since Jay's here, she wants to go extreme. I want her to tell me about the main event. Yeah, you tell us about the main event. Yeah. So. <clears throat> What I love the most about the main event is not only when Big Show made his way out there, but my favorite ECW alum, Sabu, who uh, was my second, my runner-up. I really thought that they were going to have Big Show win this match, 100%. And mm-hmm. things do get extreme straight away. But, dude, Big Show's throwing people out like left and right for the most part. There's, there's, there's really not a whole lot i can say about the match that i found really like interesting except for like the ending of it just because can you tell me who the big show eliminated okay i I got you you. they eliminated everybody except for the last person i was just gonna say everybody everybody (laughs) Everybody. (laughs) i can tell you who's still there it's 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 uh my two favorite here because I, I thought, honestly, at some point I thought Sabu was out of there. I didn't see him for a while. So I really thought it was just Big Show and Little Guido. And for a minute there, I really thought they were going to have uh, Little Guido win the match. But out of fucking nowhere, uh, Sabu comes out with a chair, fucking nails Big Show. And both Little Guido and Big Show are out of there. And now Sabu is going to go one-on-one against John Cena and Vengeance. And the crowd goes so fucking mild. Yeah. But I loved it. Because Sabu fucking won. I love Sabu. I got to see him at like a GCW show that was around. I'm so before. sorry. And I love GCW. I really do. I like you Effie. Shut the hell you know, up, Ty. Like Sabu is awesome. I'm anti extreme. Yeah. Sabu's the best, man. I hate it. He He's goes into the ring and he's got his music and he's got his finger looking up in the crowd. And I'm like, yes. Look, here, here's my stance on it. Right. When Sabu shows up to a GCW, as they call it. Okay. Okay. When JBL shows up. 
Oh yeah, we're making money. Now, now. we're talking. <laughs> now we're so, talking. Dude, um, who quick, else was the one there? Thing it I'm was not Sabu. What? Hmm. Who is this fucker in the the slacks and shirt with the suspenders on? That's Roadkill. No that was. That's Roadkill. That's, That's Roadkill. Road did he even yeah. enter the ring? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Him and yeah, Danny yeah, Doring. Yeah, he, was, he was like. He didn't get I an think entrance. He might no. Have been like the first or second out. He did not get okay. an entrance. Him and Danny Doring were already in the ring. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I was. I was confused. Former like, tag team champions of ECW. Yeah. So important. Can, didn't get an entrance. Can I say? It's all what? about the new talent, like Zombie. Yeah. yeah you're right. Let, exactly. let me tell you, what a great moment when the commentators went, look at this. This is what makes us different. And I just look and I'm looking because I'm watching this. And it's one of the most dog shit battle royales I've ever seen. There's well, yeah. no such thing as a good battle royal, but I'll say that at least there was a table in this one. And at yeah. least Trinity was there. That that's yeah. that. Those are the positives. But it's like this is just a battle royale, which there has Maybe it was pretty been. cool when they were all just ganging up on Big Show too, and just beating the shit out of him with random yeah. objects. Yeah, that was yeah, that was alright moment. But this. Well, the is thing funny. is, like, it, it just feels like a nothing burger because maybe maybe because I I've, I've watched a whole lot of like modern wrestling, just kind of do the same type of shit. But I feel like I've even seen this done before with the Big Show and other things. You know, we just like, saw it, just, it last like week. This happens. That's Every what I'm battle saying. Royale has to have a big man throwing people according so, to events. Yeah, battle royals I mean, are not. You can add like a couple types. weapons here and there, but mm. to me, I guess it's just not too memorable. And that's that's the issue I think with the the show as a whole. And it makes me wonder. Like, yes, I know we're trying to still live off of one night stand and the fucking DVD, but you really can can start off a lot hotter than this. You know, it, it makes me kind of think of like a. I guess for a modern example, like the AEW collision problem for like a minute, or like even like the the dark AEW dark and everything, you know, like the ability to put so much potential into it. And I feel like for ECW, like they they spent too much time trying to rush everything, and that's why a lot of the showmanship looks kind of ass. But they knew that they could get fifty thousand people if they just keep them to stay after SmackDown. Here's you know with here's names the like problem. RBD and John Cena. They had ECW versus e, uh, WWE head to head after like it was like a mm. raw set with ECW set. So like imagine the ECW set right next to it. It was so bizarre. <laughs> I'll have you watch it after just so I don't think you've seen it. So then they decided to have a really good show. Surprisingly, it was actually a really good segment show where Mick Foley cuts an, an awesome promo. They had a really good Extreme Rules match. They had a, a very fun Battle Royal. They had a John Cena versus Sabu match, which was hilarious. And they had RVD versus Rey Mysterio, which was really good. And they blew their load. And then they had ECW One Night Stand in the arena, have all these special moments, and now what are they going to do from there? Paul Heyman goes, ah, well, shit. Um, we got Kelly Doing Kelly and this- Zombie. <laughs> No, like oh, doing. Oh, yeah. The reality is, is in wrestling, doing a single show is easy. Booking a, a, a regular narrative week to week is difficult, and, and it, we we just had a blow off, and you have approximately forty minutes of TV time to get like to set up more shit. You just have to set up title title matches at this point. But they're not that's setting up any ECW. ECW. Be. They're setting up well, all raw stuff. Yeah, but that's what. Here's that would the have been. thing, right? Like you got this guy. Honestly, one of the best creatives in the business who has a bunch of restrictions from sci-fi because they're like, well, we, we, we need this on this channel. And once again, just because he's the face of the show, I mean, he we know he's not in control. This is a clear Vince McMahon book thing. Like, mm-hmm. look, I, I've been an advocate for Big Show throughout most of 2006. This is... What, he is looking real bad by this point. This was just, like he he eliminated everyone except Sabu. Like Sabu doing job, was, brother. Yeah, like this show was doomed to fail, but it didn't. That's what I'm saying. It's, not, yeah. it's look well, the, the yeah, rate, be- what we're gonna get is uh, we're gonna get some shit. We're gonna get some good things, and my, most of it's gonna be shit. And everything else is gonna feed into other shows because. This show is going to be reliant on having people from other shows on, especially right now while RVD still holds holds the main title. Yeah, exactly. And, but and I hey, will you say, know, that's fine. Because I know Ty's excited for it. I can't <laughs> say much. 
But there is a certain somebody who's going to come in and he's going to liven up these shows. Oh, oh yeah. No. And it's going to be the Hi, your, your impressions. Listen. Your impressions on this person are going to change. Listen, Nico, you're going to you're going you're gonna, to yeah. you're going to change your tune on it. You're not going to pass this test, Nico. You're not going to fool me on this. I know who you're talking about. No, you don't. Exactly. We'll we'll come back to this later. No, we'll you're, you're gonna, uh, let me, you're gonna let me change say your this. tune. You will. I'll say this though. I I I get that like for how ECW is going to be used for this point right now, it's just like this through line, and but I feel as though they really could have found some other ways to make things improve. You know, I don't know. I I don't book wrestling, so what the fuck do I know about how this stuff could go? But I, I feel as though, as opposed of trying to, um, you know, put all this shit in with like a zombie and make all these like super short matches, you know, I feel as though they did something close to like how we see with um, how AEW or, or even like with NXT, you know, like how they're able to like manage their time between promo and, and match. Um, you know, it's clear that that's not the kind of mindset that's being put into it at this moment. But I feel as though that that's really the the best kind of like formula that you can get across a, a with for a show like this. Yeah. Ah, uh, we're gonna get real extreme someday, I hope. But for now, hardcore Holly will be here. God, I hope not. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Where's he been? Is he been, even? No, he hasn't been here all year. Oh well. Well, I think I think oh, the man. extreme experiment worked out. And I think we'll have to see y'all next week. Just Maybe. wait. It gets better. I, I hope so. <laughs> Bye, guys. Yes. It gets better, I swear. You've been extremely sideways. That don't sound right. Uh, don't this, is, this, this has been extreme. extremely sideways. This has been extremely sideways. Uh, I don't sound good. Figure it out, Ty. You're welcome. We're going to do it extremely sideways. 